good morning students in circuit breaker we already saw the bulk oil circuit breaker now let's see low oil or minimum oil circuit breaker and its working and advantage and disadvantages so with the increase in system voltage the quantity of oil in bulk oil circuit breaker also increases it gives additional expenses increase the risk of fire and cause maintenance problem this will make necessary the design of a type of a circuit which requires a low volume of oil it is observed that oil serves two purposes firstly it act as a arc quenching medium and secondly it insulates live parts from the earth it is found that only a small percentage about 10% of oil is used for arc extension process and major part is used for insulation purpose a low or minimum oil circuit breaker uses a small container having oil which is just enough for arc extension the container of oil is supported on porcelain insulator so that required insulation can be obtained for live parts from earth Thus low oil circuit breaker has added advantage that it requires less space than the bulk oil this is an important consideration in large installation with respect to quenching of arc the oil behaves identically in bulk as well as low oil circuit breaker by using suitable arc control devices the arc extension can be further facilitated in low oil circuit breaker Now let's see construction details of this type of circuit breaker. It consists of mainly two separate compartment which are separated from each other. Both these compartment are filled with the oil. The upper chamber is called the circuit breaking chamber while the lower chamber is called supporting chamber. the two from mixing the each other the two chambers are separated by a partition and oil from both the chambers are prevented from mixing with each other this type of arrangement has two advantages firstly the circuit breaker chamber requires a small volume of oil which is just sufficient for arc extinction and secondly small amount of oil is to be replaced as the oil in the supporting chamber does not get contaminated with by the arc so let's see first the supporting chamber this is a bottom chamber which is made up of porcelain and mounted on metal chamber it is filled with oil which is physically separated from the oil in circuit breaker chamber the oil inside the supporting chamber and the annual annular space formed between the porcelain insulation and backlash paper is employed for insulation the second is circuit breaking chamber it is a porcelain enclosure which is mounted on the top of the supporting compartment it is also filled with the oil and consists of following parts like upper and lower fixed contacts moving contacts and turbulator the moving contact is hollow it consists of cylinder which moves down over a fixed post piston the turbulator forms an arc control device and it has both axial and radial vents the axial venting ensures the interruption of low current whereas radial venting ensures interruption of heavy currents in current breaking chamber now third one is top chamber it is a metal chamber mounted on the top of circuit breaking chamber it provides expansion space for the oil present in circuit breaker chamber breaking chamber it also contains a separator which avoid loss of oil by centrifugal action caused by circuit breaker operation during faulty condition now let's see the operation of this minimum oil circuit breaker under normal conditions the moving contact and fixed contacts are in engaged position during abnormal conditions the moving contact is pulled down by the dripping springs 
with the separation of contacts and arc is struck between them the energy in the arc causes vaporization of oil this will produce gases at high pressure this action prevents the oil to pass through center hole in the moving contacts and results in forcing series of oil through the passage of the turbulator the process of turbulation is one in which sections of the arc successively quench by the effect of separate streams of oil moving across each sections so the now let's see how we maintain this type of oil circuit breakers so the maintenance of oil circuit breakers consists of checking the contacts and dielectric strength of the oil after fault has been interrupted by the circuit breaker fault current flows for short time or load currents for several times it contacts may be bond due to arcing also there may be some loss of dielectric strength of oil due to carbonization this will reduce rupturing capacity of the breaker thus periodic checking of circuit breaker is essential after regular interval of 3 to 6 months so following faults should be kept in mind while checking or by taking maintenance of oil circuit breakers so firstly check the current carrying part if they are bond replace them second check the dielectric strength of oil if its color is changed then it should be changed or reconditioned the oil in good condition with stand 330 kv for 1 minute with 4 mm gap between electrodes then check the insulations for or any damage clean the surface with removal of carbon deposits with strong and dry fabric the oil level should be checked the closing and repairing mechanism should be checked now the advantages of this type of minimum oil circuit breaker is quantity of oil required is small the space requirement is reduced and the risk of fire is also reduced and disadvantages are due to the smaller quantity of oil the degree of carbonization is increased the gases are difficult to remove from the contact space in time the dielectric strength of the oil deteriorates rapidly as degree of carbonization is high so here we have to replace the oil very frequently compared to bulk oil circuit breaker so the application of this type of circuit breakers are available for all voltages and for the highest braking capacity hence preferred in most of the protection schemes so the minimum oil circuit breaker are preferred as a most in protection schemes so this is what the minimum oil circuit breaker is now let's see new vacuum circuit breakers so here the medium which we will use for arc extinguishing it will be vacuum in such breakers vacuum vacuum the degree of vacuum being in the range from 10 raised to minus 7 to 10 raised to minus 5 torque is used as the arc quenching medium since vacuum offers the highest insulating strength it possesses far superior arc quenching properties than any other medium for example when contacts of a breaker are open in vacuum the interruption occurs at first current zero with dielectric strength between the contacts building up at a rate thousand of times higher than the obtained with other circuit breakers the principle of vacuum circuit breaker is the production of arc in a vacuum circuit breaker and its extinctions can be explained as when the contacts of the circuit breakers are open in vacuum an arc is produced between the contacts by the ionization of metal vapors of contacts here however the arc is quickly extinguished because the metallic vapors electrons and ions produced during arc rapidly condense on the surface of the circuit breaker contacts resulting in quick recovery of dielectric strength the reader may note the salient feature of vacuum as an arc quenching medium as soon as the arc is produced in vacuum 
it is quickly extinguished due to the fast rate of recovery of dielectric strength in vacuum so let's see the construction here shows the parts of typical vacuum circuit breaker it consists of fixed contact moving contact and arc shield mounted inside a vacuum chamber the movable member is connected to the control mechanism by stainless steel bellows the this enables the permanent sealing of the vacuum chamber so as to eliminate the possibility of leak right the movable chamber is connected to the control mechanism by stainless steel bellows the glass vessel or ceramic vessel is used as the outer insulating body the arc shield prevents the deterioration or corro corrosion is the internal dielectric strength by preventing metallic vapor falling on the inside surface of the outer insulating cover so the working will be when the breaker operates the moving contact separates from the fixed contact and arc is struck between the contact the production of arc is due to the ionization of metal ions and depends very much upon the material of contacts the arc is quickly extinguished because the metallic vapors electrons and ion produced during arc are diffused in a short time and seized by the surface of moving and fixed members and shields since vacuum has a very fast rate of recovery of dielectric strength the arc extinction in a vacuum breaker occurs with a short contact separations like in 0.625 cm so it has so many advantages like they are compact reliable and have longer life there are no fire hazards they have low arc energy they can successfully withstand lightning surges there is no generation of gas during and after operation they require very little maintenance and are quiet in operation they can interrupt any fault current they have low inertia and hence require small power for control mechanism the outstanding feature of a vcb is that it can break any heavy fault current perfectly just before the contacts reach the defined open position so the application of vcb is for a country like india where distances are quite large and accessibility to remote areas difficult the installation of such outdoor maintenance free circuit breaker should prove a definite advantage vcb are being used for outdoor application ranging for 22 kv to 66 kv even with limited range of say 60 to 100 mva they are suitable for majority of application in rural areas so this is for vacuum circuit breakers in next lecture we will see sf6 circuit breaker